there's lots of evidence that points to the existence of dark matter throughout the cosmos. In one example, there are discrepancies in how stars orbit the outer regions of their galaxies. Stars tend to take elliptical paths and many times very close to circular paths around galaxies. There tends to be a large density of stars at the center of galaxies with lower densities of stars as you move radially outward to the edges of the galaxy. A star that's in orbit very close to the center of the galaxy feels the force of gravity pulling on it most strongly from the stars that are behind it towards the center. In fact, as you move out radially further away, but still within the galactic bulge at the center, orbiting stars would see even more stars behind them and their aggregate gravitational attractive force would feel even greater. This effect changes moving far away from the galactic center into the outer regions of the galaxy. In this case, there are far fewer surrounding stars over a much greater volume to contribute anything significant to the pull of gravity. Instead, the force of gravity will start to weaken since the most dominant source of gravity is from the galactic center, but we're much further away from it at the galactic edge and beyond. So moving outward, we'd expect the overall pull of gravity to diminish, and the stars in these regions would orbit more slowly. If the stars moved too quickly in this outer region, gravity wouldn't be strong enough to hold onto them, and they would be ejected from the galaxy. We can observe the total visible amount of matter within galaxies to estimate its total mass. We can also observe the speed at which stars orbit around their galaxies. The mass estimates and the stellar orbital speeds tend to be in agreement around the galactic center and even a bit further out. However, this is not the case in the outer regions of the galaxy. Orbiting stars do not seem to slow down, but stay moving fast. In fact, they maintain their speed far out even beyond the galactic edges. They are moving far too fast for the observable matter to hold on to them, and yet their orbits are stable. It's as if there's additional hidden dark matter surrounding the galaxy. This tends to be the case for almost every observed galaxy, and even more surprisingly, a typical galaxy is estimated to contain between two to four times more of this dark matter than the visible matter.